this. The council was informed that the cabinet recently lifted the mining moratorium, emphasizing the need for expedited action on mining related matters. Two, the council resolved to convene a consultative forum next week, bringing together the Council of Governors, the Ministry of Roads, various road agencies, the CRIA, and other relevant stakeholders to be chaired by the Deputy President. The forum aims to facilitate discussions on the equitable distribution of funds from the Road Maintenance Levy Fund between the two levels of government with the intention of reaching an out-of-court resolution on the matter. Number three, the Council confirmed the progress of the sugar sector reforms, noting that the Cabinet had endorsed the proposed leasing model of public-owned sugar companies and approved a write-off of 117 million Kenya shillings. Governors were urged to lead their support to this initiative. Preparations are underway for the milk, sugar, and maize subsectors conferences. A consultative forum for the sugar industry will be held within the next two weeks. Number four, regarding pending bills, it was reported that 40 counties have submitted their pending bills reports to the control of budget. However, it was noted that some counties did not follow the first in, first out basis criteria. The council decided that a meeting be convened involving the control of budget, the council of governors and the national treasury to address and resolve the persistent issues of pending bills. Five, the council was informed that of the 385.4 billion shillings allocated to the counties for the 2023 stroke 2024 financial year, out of which 61.1 billion has been dispersed to counties as an equitable share, Kenya shillings 52 billion to be dispersed as conditional grounds to counties. To overcome difficult fiscal space, counties with low bank balances at the central bank will be given priority. Number six, an engagement between the National Treasury and Parliament on the administrative undertaking to deal with sections 191A and 190E of the PF May Act 2012 on the preparation of intergovernmental agreements was proposed and resolved by the Council. However, the Council directed that Parliament be requested to waive the requirement under the law and that a task force has been established to develop agreements. Number seven, the Council was informed that counties have consistently fallen short of their annual own source revenue OSR targets since the advent of devolution. The shortfall has had adverse effects on service delivery and has played a role in the accumulation of pending bills. The Council acknowledged that the Commission on Revenue Allocation, CRA, has intervened by disseminating the OSR potential report, implementing the Tax Administrative Diagnostic Assessment Tool, and formulating the tariff padding policy. So those are the resolutions of IBEC meeting today. And uh, ladies and gentlemen of the press, we want to thank you. And you are invited for lunch. On my left, proceed to that tent and enjoy your lunch. And when you go back, say hi to your...